this one again that's the um, top spandrel adjacent to column three and let me get a see if I can get a better shot of this cutout for you here okay today is April 16th it's 9 30 in the morning and we are out cutting more samples from the World Trade Center debris my name is Donald Kramer this is Maureen Williams the camera and over here from um, from right to left, that's Tim Fakey in the um, black pants, white shirt. And then to the left of Maureen is Steve Banovic and Mike Savage. We um, just finished a cut on the web, off of a uh, web section on NIST N1. And I'll be taking you over there in just a second to um, Show you where that cut was made. Okay. So okay. this is NIST N1. We are looking at sorry. Okay. This is NIST N1. We are actually looking at the um, inside of, of this section here. You can see a rectangular cutout. The, the rectangular cutouts are at the bottom. The uh, cutouts are on the inside. This column over here is column one. This is column two. Column three is missing. This is the, as I said, this is the inside and underneath is the outside. Move along. You can see that this is folded back over on itself. This is C2. Over here is C1. And the cut that we just made is <laughs> taken right there uh, as we move along here um, this 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 is C1 that we're looking at on this N1 and the top is um, is uh, bent over on itself that's the top down there so this <clears throat> this is a cut that we just uh, took out of uh, of uh, N1 this is C1M, that stands for the middle of column C1, and that was taken from the outer web. So that would be, that's N1, C1, M, O, W, 1. Okay, I'm about to take you on a walkthrough of the cuts that we made on M, as in Mary, 10A and 10B. Uh, in the back here is NIST, um, this is NIST N, N11, 10A and 10B are right here in front of us. I'm going to take you around to the bottom side of 10A and 10B. Okay. <clears throat> this is a, uh, this is a connector plate here that connects two trees. To, to uh, the left of the tree is M10B, and over on this side is M10A. This is the first column. This is column one. This here is column two. And moving on up here, this is column three. They're all um, broken off below the bottom end. One, two, three. Moving, moving, continuing on from this connector plate onto 10B. This is column one. This is column two. And underneath here, that is column three. 
we took nine samples from these trees. The first one, wheat, is on column one. It is taken from right here. And that was taken from the right hand flange of column one on the bottom side. That's M10A C1B FR-1. The next cut was taken from column two on 10A. It was taken from the inner web, so the inside of the web. That is M10A C2B for the bottom, IW1 for the inner web. <clears throat> the next cut is on column three, and that is taken from the left flange of column three, that is M10A C3B FL1. Moving on to 10B, there are two cuts here on the inner sign. There's a cut taken off of the corner of a step on the, on the inside of column two, right here. That is M10B C2B step one. And <clears throat> this is, we're still looking at column two. Column two is um, missing from the middle section to the top. This is the spandrel attached adjacent to column two. And there's a cut taken right here. That's M10B C2B for the uh, bottom of column two, S1. That's the spandrel. So now we're, we're coming around to uh, what would be the top side of M10B. This is column one, the continuation of column one. It's missing from the middle section on up to the top. That is column two. And what was underneath column three, this is column three on 10B continuing on up through the middle section. Um, there's a cut right here that is, <clears throat> let's see, that is um, a cut taken from the left flange on column two from the midsection. That, that's the left flange. That's M10B C2M for the middle of column two. FL1 for the left flange. Okay. Coming on around here, there's a cut, cut here. This is column three on 10B, and there's a cut taken right there from the right flange of column three, the middle of column three, tree M10B. And let's see, the next cut, I think, I believe the last one is right here. Uh, we're actually back on 10A now. And that is, M, this is tree M10A. We're actually looking at column three. We're looking at the spandrel adjacent to column three. And that is M10A. C three B S one. Okay, I overlooked one cut down here. There, right there. That's a cut taken from the left flange on column one of tree M ten B.
<clears throat> All right, this is in preparation for the walkthrough on NIST uh, NN, which is over here. That's, that's N11, and I'll be taking you over to NN. This is NN right here. Um, this is the inside there where the cutouts are and there's a connecting plate right there so this is the bottom and that's the inside this is column three from uh, from the tree and and there are two cuts on this column there's a cut right here if we come over here you'll see that this spandrel here actually continues on from the left side of column three and uh, right adjacent. It, it appears that it tore off right adjacent to column two. This is a cut from the spandrel. This is, I guess it's easier if I come around this way so that you can actually read the text. A note and clarification, NN is no number? No number. NNC2BS1, so this is a cut from the spandrel adjacent to column C2 near the bottom of the tree. And the other cut is near the uh, middle, <clears throat> the top of NN, uh, of column three. NN is not here, it's missing. Um, this is, again, this is the, this is the side of and 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 this is the flange. So this is a it's the what is it? it says it's the left flange. The uh, is that right? Okay, yeah, that was it. Um, we, we've corrected that. That uh, flange was actually mislabeled here. Uh, this is actually the right flange on column three, so that's NNC3M. This is the middle of column three, FR1, the right flange. Okay, we're going to um, head to the back of the um, of the uh, uh, trees and the debris here, back to N12, which is uh, in the back there, and Maureen is uh, photographing a cut right now. <clears throat> this is N11 here in the front. Let me try to get back there as quickly as I possibly can. That's where we're going, is back there. I'll try to keep. Give us a pretty good feel. Okay. This is N12. We are looking at columns two and columns three. This is the bottom of column three. It, it extends up that way, it folds back over on itself, and comes back down this way. This is the top of column three. Back down to the midsection back up to the top. Um, <clears throat> next to it is column two. This is the bottom of column two. And it moves up that way, folds back over on itself, and comes back over here. This is the top of column two. Again, this is N12 that we were looking at. This is the top of column two, the middle, the bottom. This is the location of the first cut on column two. It's a cut from the uh, left flange. So now we're looking at it from the bottom here. That's the left flange on column two. C2B FL1. There are two other cuts on this tree. We'll have to come around to the other side to see them. 